What's up, you guys? Let's read some energy. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Mary. Hello. So nice to meet you. Please like and follow. I love new friends. Also, I'm a medium, a psychic, and an oracle, and I'm clairaudient, and all these other weird things, and I pull cards, and sometimes I say things, and we learn things together, and it's really fun. Let's pull some cards. Hmm. Okay, somebody may have been feeling a little, like, disappointed, or maybe somebody's getting over some grief. Pentacles, they're here in the reverse position. I'm hearing, just don't worry. You're going to be okay. I feel like whatever happened, it's made you more aware. Disappointment. Grief. What is this Five of Cups? The Five of, cup, five of Cups landed sideways. Um, I'd like to clarify the Five of Cups, please. Answers to the highest white light. What happened? What was this that caused some disappointment? Grief. Page of Swords. Curiosity. Curiosity. <laughs> Someone's passion and curiosity created more self-awareness, but it also was disappointing. All right, let's see. Because somebody was, yeah, with the Eight of Wands here in the reverse. I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I'm, I don't know what I'm laughing at, honestly, you guys. Sometimes these readings I just do that I don't know um okay so there was a breakup with the lovers in the reverse position page of wands in the reverse position um somebody was just feeling a little confined I feel like and there was I'm also hearing that there was like a lack of passion and optimism so that's sad um Like, maybe it got off to a really quick start, I'm hearing, and then it kind of slowed down. Um, oh, I think I get it. Let's pull some more cards, though. Two of Cups. Okay, I got it. I've got the Lovers in Reverse Position and the Two of Cups in Reverse Position. So it's like, somebody broke up. Okay, we got it. I heard, oh, somebody took the wind out of your sail. Somebody took the wind out of somebody's sail, but it, somebody was very curious about a passionate something, some sort of passion between two people. Oh. Well, this is a very interesting read. Okay, but it's like you're, if somebody, but you're finding or you found that it was lacking. I feel like, because here with the Ten of Cups, it's like, I feel like you've, you've, you've are fulfilled by yourself and you've found fulfillment. Um, Six of Wands. It's like, this is so funny. It's like somebody just kind of decided to go on some sort of a case study and see what, what, I don't know, what, what kind of relationships they're into or not into, okay? And hey, that's totally cool. You know, you can do that. You can like, you know, date people and be like, hey, look, I am, um, I don't really know what I like, but I think I might like you, but I'm not really sure. So <laughs> let's, you want to try this out? I don't know. You know, like you can totally have that conversation with people. I don't judge. Like, I feel like that sounds like something I would probably have done, you know, like, and I would not judge somebody if they did that to me. I would probably have a lot of respect actually. Um, so that's cool. Um, but it didn't really end very well though. Okay. So maybe, but you end, but it ended with you feeling much more emotionally, fulfilled after you ended this. Okay. Because what, okay. Yes. Okay. So somebody's learning more about what it is that they're looking for in a relationship, I think, or in a partnership. Okay. Um,
because with the three of wands here that's that's the energy of uh, growth and expansion we've got the ace of wands here that's you know feeling inspired and having desire um, okay so one night stands aren't your thing good uh, you know we're, we're more multifaceted than that Nine of Wands, Resilience, Caution. Why or how? What? What is the message, please? Answers to High Flight Light. What is the message? Please, Spirit, Answers to High Flight Light. Okay, look, the, I'm hearing this, you guys. I am hearing this. You can't, you can't change somebody. Somebody has to change themselves. I feel like maybe that's the lesson that you learned is that you can't change somebody. They have to change themselves. Um, that's like loud and clear. I'm hearing. Somebody also might, like, I don't know why I'm getting this, but it's like somebody also needs to stop drinking alcohol please. <laughs> uh, yeah, somebody needs to be more responsible with their body. I'm also getting a message that somebody's kids might be watching. That's so random and but you guys remember that all my readings are general readings and little bits and pieces may resonate with you know you or other people the entire reading may resonate with you okay but um that's what i'm hearing so you know you want to be careful you really want to set a good example it could be your kids it could be their kids or maybe you know i don't know maybe um Yeah, but whatever this is, it just, it didn't get off, it didn't really ever get off the ground. And I feel like that was actually the universe's way of um, protecting you and um, keeping you out of the matrix, so to speak. Keeping you out of whoever this person's energy is or was. It was keeping you away from that because they didn't, because the universe didn't want you to get caught in that cycle, is what I'm hearing, in that illusion, the, the, that matrix energy. Somebody was really... Somebody is really, um, like really heavy in the matrix, okay? And you are not, but they, um, and I'm hearing everybody has a choice. So, um, yeah, and here with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like you're the type of person who, you know, um, I feel like, well, first of all, I feel like you're the type of person who gets a lot of attention. Um, I feel like you're very humble, but you get a lot of attention. Um, you, you, people like to give you things too. I'm also hearing. And, um, it's because you give and receive for the divine good. You might also be an artist or somebody is an artist. Um, something about apples too. What else? Fair answer. Anything else? Okay, so you just kind of like dipped into the matrix for a little while and you, you wanted to, you know, experience some, you know, human things. And that's cool. And now spirit has separated you. And um, I don't know, maybe this was like a side gig or something like that. And you were, I don't know, sometimes, you know, we pop into people's lives just to you know, say hi. <laughs> this this could be, you know, what you could do. This is your potential. It could be. Um, but I have the uh, Ace of Coins here. What is this? It's like, um, I feel like, though, you really are focused on your service. Or you're really focused on service to others. Oh, for some of you, this, this karmic situation, because now I have the four of, um, the four of, um, Four of Wands in the reverse position. I don't know why I can't say that. But, um, 
Oh, shoot. Now I lost the message. I'm so sorry, you guys. I wish I could get that back. Um, yeah, I heard this. <gasps> oh, this was a lesson for you to set boundaries and to walk away from what's not yours. This is what I'm hearing. For some of you, this is a message, okay? Uh, like, that's a very specific message for someone, okay? So for some of you, this was... You just kind of like popped in to see, you know, what it is. And I'm sure that you, you carried some sort of energy with you, which helped benefit whoever this person was, right? And we have the Ace of Pentacles, so there's there will be a reward on the other side of this for you. What else? Is there anything else? Hmm. Six of Swords. You might have a new relationship coming in, too. Very emotionally fulfilling, the Ten of Cups. This this may have also just helped you, like, understand what it is that you're looking for in a partner, too. Okay? Is also what I'm hearing. But the Ace of Coins is also a card of, um... This could have even been, like, a, like a false twin flame, I'm hearing, with the Four of Wands in the reverse position. But, um... You know, the false twin flame generally comes before the twin flame, if you're into that, right? Okay? So, but, um, the ace of coins with the six of swords and the ten of cups. I feel like there's true love coming in, though. There's something that's really going to be for you, okay? Um, there's something here, though, that I, I'm not saying that needs to come out. I think... It's like somebody popped into the matrix and tried to show somebody that they could have more than what they understand their worth is. And that's and that's what somebody did. I think I'm going to leave the reading there. Okay? Yeah. I hope that that resonates. I hope that you guys are doing really, really amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm sending you guys so much love. So much love and light. Okay, until next time. Don't forget to like and follow. Okay, until next time. Bye.